I'm Christina Howard outside of the Thorncliffe Park apartment building that Faisal Hussein and his family have called home for the past several decades. Now, this is where Faisal grew up and where he lived until Sunday when he died. Now, City News has reached out to Toronto Police and we've asked if there are any links between Faisal Hussein and terrorism. And they say that no motive has been outruled just yet. They are still very much in the early stages of the investigation. But the neighbors in this area say they remember Faisal as a very polite man, a reserved man and a quiet man. In fact, they say he was so reserved that this is the only confirmed photo we have of him to date. Here's what we know about him. He attended Mark Garneau High School. He had an older brother and a younger sister. Hanging on the family's apartment door is a common prayer for safety and protection for those around you. But as we're learning from neighbors, his family was no stranger to tragedy. The father was a wonderful guy, he's a good guy, he's a good family. But he, he is suffering lots of in the stress and the issues. His son is in the hospital. Daughter is die, and uh, he is sick, very badly sick. The guys, very, very. Even he can talk. He can talk properly. Very few people seem to know Faisal well. Most of the people I spoke to in this community say he would say hello and nod to neighbors, but didn't really engage in meaningful conversations. The people say, "Oh, take care of your parents because your brother in the hospital." He say, "I'm a very good boy." I, I take care of my father, I take care of my mother. Now yesterday, Faisal's parents issued a statement saying that he's been suffering from psychosis for years and that medications and therapy ultimately weren't able to help him. But Dr. David Goldblum of the Center for Addiction and Mental Health says psychosis is not usually associated with violent behavior. People with psychosis are at greater risk of being the victims of violence than of perpetrating a violence. And if you think about it, if you believe that people you don't know are plotting against you, following you, or even want to kill you, that's a terrifying experience. Occasionally and tragically, some people with psychotic illness do act out in a very violent way. And sadly, it can be often towards people who are in their immediate circle of care like their families. A search through court records reveals that Faisal had no prior criminal history and according to the public safety minister he was not on any federal watch lists. Now it's not clear if the gun he allegedly used was obtained legally or if he had any sort of military or combat training.